Let's talk about something that will hit different. I mean, this is history. We haven't seen something like this happen in, in, in decades. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a rare sight unfolding in the sky. You have time to catch it. And Gerard is here with exactly how rare this planetary alignment is. Yeah, it's pretty neat. And we've, we've, it's been a while, but you'll, you'll catch it. And that's the good news. It's the first time in about 18 years we've had five planets that are in near conjunction and also visible to the naked eye. You can catch this rare phenomenon from now until early July. When you look into the sky on a dark night, you often see the moon and stars. A few of those bright spots are actually the planets in our solar system. But rarely do you see five planets in a conga line together. Well, over the next few weeks, that's exactly what's happening. According to Space.com, if you look into the pre-dawn sky, you can catch a glimpse of Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn, and you won't need a telescope to see them. The moon will even be visible in the group at the same time, marking the Earth's position in the lineup. The best time to look into the sky will be about 45 minutes to an hour before sunrise through the end of June. Keep in mind, June has some of the earliest sunrises of the year, meaning the ideal viewing time is between 4 and 5 in the morning. If you're planning to sky gaze, it's best to pick a night with low humidity and little cloud cover. And it's also good to choose a spot away from city lights with a clear view of the east and southeast horizon. There are a few cool apps you can use to help you find the position of the planets, like this one called Sky Map for Android. Or you can try Star Chart for iPhone. All right. Very, very cool. And Gerard, I know we're out of time, but yep. get those apps. They're our, fun. Yeah, our second hour starts right now. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.